Okay. Now, thank you very much for coming today to do this interview. Um, I'd just like you to introduce yourself before we get started with any of the questions. Um, my name is uh, Jeremy McLaughlin. I'm uh, 44 uh, years old. I have spina bifida and hydrocephalus, and I'm a wheelchair uh, user. Um, that I'm currently involved with uh, VSI uh, through, through their Volunteering and Employability uh, uh, Enhancement Project, um, through which I've been attending uh, some of their conferences. Uh, um, the first one in uh, Prague in the Czech Republic last May, most recent one in uh, um, in um, Helsinki, Finland, uh, last uh, uh, last month, and then this, uh, the final one um, uh, uh, today um, uh, here in Dublin. Okay, and what have you learned about volunteering through this project? Um, I've done volunteering before. Um, as I'm originally from Newbridge County in, in uh, County Kildare, I belong to a Kildare branch of SPHI, and um, that that that. Um, uh, um, a, a years ago, I used to volunteer with an organisation called Care, the, a, a Care, Care with a K, um, who provides services to um, people with uh, learning disabilities in Kildare, West Wicklow, and East Offaly. And I, um, I volunteered briefly with them for for a number of years before I moved up to Dublin, uh, in both an admin support capacity because general admin is my uh, career background, and also um, as a kind of a teaching assistant. Um, Helping uh, service users uh, with uh, basic computer uh, li uh, literacy um, in, uh, in both Newbridge and, and the Curragh. And then when I moved to Dublin in uh, 2003, I was asked to get involved in um, in another uh, in another project, not 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 dissimilar to uh, uh, VSI, through an organisation called Volunteering Ireland, who were, who were running a pilot project called Opportunity Knox. For, uh, which is basically to, to promote uh, volunteering opportunities for groups of people, uh, much like uh, VE, uh, um, volunteer, uh, volunteering and employment uh, enhancement, employability enhancement. Um, it was basically for groups of people who wouldn't otherwise be considered as plenty of volunteers, people with physical disability, uh, people with a learning disability, um, uh, 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 people who are uh, people who who are uh, recovering addicts and people maybe um, people with a history of uh, mental illness. Uh, <coughs> that uh, program um, took place in the latter half of 2003, early 2004. As part of which, um, because I have a physical disability, I represent people with, with physical disability on the uh, on on that project. And as part of it, I was placed for six months with the National Council for the Blind of Ireland in at, in their head office and training centre in Drumcondra. And um, much like with uh, CARE uh, back in uh, in uh, uh, Kildare, I I had a dual role. Um, again, I used my admin experience to help um, NCBI uh, set up, um, they, they were setting up a fundraising database, which they hadn't previously done. So I, I basically helped them uh, set up that uh, database. Which basically it that basically involved me in putting uh, data on a on a weekly basis for for a number of hours, and also um, again I used my experience from from care to 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 um, to work with people who were visually impaired again with the computer computer literacy uh, in a kind of classroom support uh, uh, role. Um, as I was I was involved with that uh, for for six months, and because I was one of four participants. Um, I was considered to be the most successful because I was unemployed at the time. I just moved up to Dublin in um, early 2003, and I basically used um, Opportunity Knox uh, as a base, as 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 a as a door, if you like, to gaining employment in in Dublin because I'd been prior to that I'd been unemployed for a long period of time, and um, that uh, when when I finished on the program in uh, at Christmas 2003. I subsequently got a place on a FOSS Community Employment Scheme uh, with the Schoolboy Soccer Club in uh, Cabin Tealy, County Dublin. And uh, again, in uh, in an ad admin capacity, and I stayed with them for, for four years. Brilliant. So. Sounds fantastic. Um, what do you think are the benefits of volunteering? Um, 
well aside from the 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 office experience of you know um being able to use existing skills and uh, and, and and learning uh, uh, new skills there is the social aspect you're 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 meeting uh, other uh, um, other uh, other people, not just people you're working with, but, but people you're 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 working alongside as well. And you're getting out, um, you know, the, 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 that you're you're you're, get, you're getting out and maybe going places, depending on whatever type of volunteering you're doing. Very good. And how did you hear about BSI? Um, I heard about it through the through www.sbhi.ie. Um, uh, uh, A.K.A. Uh, Katie Kelly, who's the one behind the uh, camera. Um, hi, Katie. <laughs> um, uh, so I heard about it through um, the SPHI website, um, and I just thought to myself, "Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd, I'd like to do that." I base what I done was I, I, I basically thought about the experience I'd gained through Opportunity Knocks and Volunteering Ireland, and thought uh, maybe how similar the two would be, and. Um, as I said, I saw the link on the SPHI website and I rang the contact person who was Helen Wamsley in VSI here in Dublin. And uh, through that, you know, I, I met her, uh, had, uh, had an interview um, uh, and basically applied to, applied to get on the project. Brilliant. And what would you like to do following on from this project? This um, I'd like to learn more about volunteering, uh, particularly volunteering abroad, but ultimately I th if... if if the right, I suppose, really, if the right opportunity and the right set of circumstances came along, I would like to. I would actually like to to volunteer abroad, um, either in an English speaking capacity or maybe with a view to learning a, a foreign language. Fantastic! And can you tell me any of the challenges or barriers you've experienced through this project? Um, I suppose the the only obstacle, I suppose. Um, and perhaps it's a, it's, it's, it's a small but no, no less significant would be transport because I don't drive myself. So, for example, uh, when I was going on, a, on any of the trips, I, um, I had to, uh, you know, I had to um, rely on, on um, public transport, like get, getting a taxi from my home maybe to, uh, to, to, to the airport. Um, and I'd have to be, you know, careful about, you know, uh, budgeting, you know, for 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 any of those trips. Um, I would have got obviously a certain amount of assistance from uh, from VSI in terms of um, being able to to, to go on uh, to go on these trips. Um, the only other obstacle maybe would be language as well, particularly in uh, in Prague. Um, I found that between Prague, the trip in Prague, and the trip in Helsinki. Um, the level of English between the Czechs and the Finns, um, the, uh, the, the Finns are actually ha are, are better English speakers than than the Czechs. Um, that uh, so that you know, depending on who you were talking to, that would that that would be an issue. Or uh, you know, even even attending even attending the the uh, seminars, um, whether they were in, in Prague, Helsinki, or here, I mean, you would be conscious of the difficulties. You know, you know uh, listening to people who maybe needed a translator. Absolutely. And has your disability, do you think, affected your volunteering? Um, that no, I no, I wouldn't say my disability has affected it. Um, that um, I suppose really. Um, I mean, I'm somebody that, uh, for one reason or another, would would uh, would have low self-esteem. So I mean, that would would obviously be a, be a factor for me. Like, would I be like, would I be be able for this, and how would I cope? I mean, I'd never ever considered prior to getting involved with VSI. I'd never ever considered going abroad. I've been abroad, right, like to England, with maybe the Irish Wheelchair Association when I was a, a, ch a child or a teenager uh, on on holiday with other disabled people, and I've been away with SBHI on their uh, away week, away week once or twice in England, and um, I've been to um, to France with SBHI in Kildare Club 2000, but uh, I'd never envisaged. Uh, um, going abroad uh, before and you know issues are uh, you know particularly on my own initiative you know, you know rather than going uh, with um, you know or, or you know in, in the sense of having to rely on um, I'm relying on uh, more on my own resources rather than for example the support that maybe I would get from say the likes of SBHI if I was going somewhere. Okay very good um, what would you say to others with or without a disability who may be interested in volunteering? I would say go for it. Um, obviously, find out as much as you can about uh, about what's involved. 
but do it with an open mind. Don't, I mean, don't, um, don't do it with a view to putting obstacles in your way. If obstacles do arise, um, look at them, uh, examine them, but but most of all, challenge them and uh, challenge them in in such a way that, for example, that you that basically you want something. If you want something badly enough, that you, you you'll get it no you, you you you'll get it no matter what the the obstacle is. Brilliant. And what have you learned from visiting other countries and meeting people from other nationalities? Um. Well, I suppose the 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 customs, the the the, the food, the access. Uh, I'm involved with my local uh, disabled access uh, access group in uh, Newbridge uh, now at the moment. I have been uh, on and off for for a number of years, and I've recently taken over as as chairperson of you know, uh, of NAG. Um, so I would have an awareness, for, you know, on going on any of these trips of the difference in access. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, was, uh, even say between Prague and uh, Helsinki. Um, Prague, I mean, such a historic city. It's full of cobblestones, which aren't really suitable for anybody uh, in a wheelchair. Um, the, uh, Helsinki is is very modern, um, and uh, the the transport. I mean, I was really uh, as good as it is here. I was actually blown away by the the transport in uh, Helsinki. I didn't get to use any of the public transport in Prague, uh, so I can't, I, I'm not in a position to to make comparisons uh, between the two. Okay, and has this project encouraged you to volunteer or volunteer again in your case? Um, I'd like to. Um, I mean, I do have questions that, for example, I'd have to I'd, I'd have to get answers to. Um, I mean, even though I'm not living in, independently, I mean, for example, I mean, I, I because I'm 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 because I'm I'm unemployed and have been since 2009. Um, I I'm I'm in receipt of welfare. Um, and I do use that to pay any bills, uh, chiefly uh, mobile phone and and broadband. So I'd have to be very aware, for example, that for example, ha um, how long I, if I was going to volunteer, how long I'd be away for, uh, would I lose my welfare, how would I pay my bills at uh, that uh, that kind uh, that kind of thing. Okay. And how would you promote volunteering to other people? Um. I mean, I'd, I'd say something that uh, that if you enjoy life, you'll enjoy uh, volunteering. Um, and even maybe when you don't enjoy enjoy life as much as uh, uh, as as you should, um, if you do if you if you if you do volunteering, it'll just open your eyes to the people around you. You know, the, you know, ha, you know, um, their attitude to life. So I mean, there, you know, you you really do have to you have to you have to look at it with an open mind and welcome it, you know, welcome it in, in that respect too. Okay, well, thank you very very much for doing the interview. Very thank you. insightful answers. So thank you very very much. Thank you very much.